Now, most enthusiasts would agree that when it comes to driving pleasure, a sedan or a hatchback for that matter will always score higher than an SUV and that's despite the practicality that an SUV brings to the table. And this really holds true even more when it comes to the European car makers. Now, Škoda is a brand that we've always associated with sedans rather than SUVs. Be it the Octavia or the Super, we've always liked them for their comfort, the space and of course the driving feel and the engaging feel rather that they offer from behind the wheel. And now Škoda is set to launch an all-new sedan into the country called the Slavia. Of course the car is set to be revealed yet but we have the prototype of the new Slavia with us that we are driving today to give you some bit of impressions about what it is like to drive. So this is a covered prototype, so obviously it's difficult to tell you what the car looks like or talk about its design. But yes, there are enough and more design cues that really make it stand out as a Škoda. It obviously starts from that grille, which is what we've seen on the new Octavia. And that's really a trademark design for Škoda cars. Overall, I like the silhouette of the car. It's quite nice, it's low slung as you would expect a sedan to be. And like I mentioned, the dimensions of this one are actually larger than the first generation Octavia and that's really impressive. Camouflaging the exteriors of test cars before they are revealed is a common practice, but here Škoda used this as an opportunity to run a contest. Entries were invited from budding designers to actually design the camouflage on the car and over 200 entries were received for the same. The winner in fact gets a lifetime opportunity to meet Škoda's design head at the Czech car makers headquarters in Prague, which is pretty cool. Now we can't really tell you about the interiors of this car, it's difficult because the interiors have been masked but at the same time what I can tell you in a nutshell that this will be really spacious and that's something, a trait that we've always associated with Skoda cars and the Slavia will definitely continue that trait as well. In terms of the powertrains, the Slavia will use the same setup that we have seen on the Kushak. Now this obviously is the second product to be launched under Skoda's India 2.0 strategy. And this will use effectively the 1.0-litre TSI and the 1.5-litre TSI engines. Both will be offered with 6-speed manual gearboxes. And at the same time, the 1.0-litre will also be offered with the 6-speed torque converter, while the 1.5 TSI will be offered with the 7-speed DSG as well. So effectively, performance is something that we have seen, that we know about. And of course, if you ask me in terms of my personal choice, it's the 1.5 TSI with the DSG. That's a lot of fun to drive. The 1 litre TSI feels very energetic too, offering a sprightly feel, especially with the 6-speed manual gearbox. The torque converter automatic impresses as well, feeling quick to swap ratios. Both engines feel very refined and performance from both is linear as well. The 1.5 TSI gets cylinder deactivation, something we have seen on the Kushak too, and will ensure impressive fuel efficiency numbers, especially on long highway stints. Now this being a pre-production prototype, of course the seat time we've got in the Slavia today has been limited, but it's been easy to sort of notice the fact that this is a Škoda in terms of the driving experience. I like the seating position, it's not too low, it is perfect for you to see ahead on the road but at the same time feel like a sedan. And the dynamics are what you expect from a European sedan, specifically a Skoda. I like how the suspension is set up, it's got a nice balance between ride and handling, the steering offers a good weighted feel, there's a nice feedback from the steering wheel and overall yes, this is definitely a Skoda sedan from behind the wheel. Interestingly, Škoda tells us suspension settings are yet to be fine-tuned, but in my opinion, the setup feels very good already. In fact, this balance between ride and handling is something that has always made Škoda cars really good driver's cars without compromising the ride quality, and I'm glad to note the Slavia continues that tradition well. Cabin quietness is also impressive, especially in the 1.5 TSI, though obviously, this being a prototype, NVH levels are still being worked on and I expect the production car to be even quieter. So the launch of the Skoda Slavia is still some time away. It's expected to go on sale only around Feb or March 2022. And in fact, the global premiere for this car is expected to happen in November next month. So there's still some time before we see it in the flesh the way the car looks like. But yes, the first driving impressions of the car have certainly been good. It's been nice to experience what Skoda's upcoming sedan is like, especially when you consider the fact that we've always liked Skoda cars for their driving feel. And this is going to be a replacement for the Rapid in the Indian market. 
And that's something really interesting because Rapid has been quite a successful name when it comes to family sedans. And this is bigger and this is definitely sportier to drive. At the same time, it's more spacious and it's got some fantastic engines under the hood. And that really should make the new Slavia a very interesting proposition in the Indian market.